The best tip I can give anyone is to be conscious of what you're doing, to actually pay attention to how you sit, how you get out of chairs, how you're getting in and out of your car. You know, think about, hmm, if I keep pushing off of that one leg when I'm stepping out of the car, I might actually develop knee problems because I'm pivoting off that knee. And it might just save you, you know, money that you don't really need to spend because you're actually being self-aware. Um, you know, does your bed need to be replaced? How old is it? You know, they only last about seven to ten years. You know, these sorts of things, when you become more aware of your body and what you're doing on a day-to-day -day basis, you can really learn to avoid a lot of needless pain and suffering. And, you know, those good old-fashioned, you know, you need to move, you need to exercise, and it doesn't have to be sweaty. <laughs> You know, you can just walk around the block, you know, take the stick, walk up the escalator, you know, you're going up, walk up at the same time. This incidental exercise, you know, don't park right in the front, park within eyeshot of the entrance, but you know, do that extra, that little bit extra and all those things, all that incidental exercise adds up over time.